So I, I was I forget which video which of your videos it was, but um, it was talking like you said, mentioned like the difference between like traditional martial arts and MMA, and like so. What are your thoughts on like like the uh, I don't know the, the preservation of traditional martial arts or how MMA affects uh, that or um, you know like the effectiveness of one or the other in you know kind of whatever situation you want to talk about. <laughs> you know I think the benefit of traditional martial arts way more for younger kids in general with, uh, you know, the, the, the respect, the honor, the humility, everything that it teaches, like that's very good to instill into people at a young age, children, you know, whereas I feel like a lot of MMA gyms, it's like, you're not bound to get in. I mean, you're, you're there for the workout. You're there to basically learn to beat people up, which obviously traditional martial arts, you, you can apply those techniques in a way, but they're not created um they're not there to necessarily at least now i mean i'm sure they were hundreds of years ago or even half a century ago they're not really there to make you a i don't want to say a big threat i i i think a lot of traditional martial arts systems in general they're they're there for different reasons but you're not going to be like a great fighter coming out of them. but i think you can apply enough stuff including the discipline you learn like if you wanted to be a fighter realistically an MMA gym is going to be a lot more beneficial. What does it matter if you have belts and katas and, you know, in your bowing and, and, and there's a lot of respect, you know, because uh, you don't really need that to be a great fighter, but you do need the discipline. And I, and yes. I do think, you know, so there's obviously overlap, but I just, when, whenever somebody, for example, will ask me like, Hey, what martial arts style should I learn? And I'll ask them, what do you want to get out of it? Like, you, you want to be able to defend yourself on the street? You want a good workout? You know, I mean, if you want to defend yourself on the street, just take Krav Maga. I love Krav Maga. I and, mean, you, you know, you're doing all kinds of stuff you're never allowed to do in the sport competition. And it builds, like, awareness and a certain kill mindset. That's what you need for the street. Uh, if you want a great workout, man, and you want to get in better shape, you you, you cardio kickboxing even. You don't have to be real kickboxing. You cardio kickboxing, you know? But um, if, if some people are into, like, the... Um, martial arts history and all that you know and just like the different things that i mentioned you know building your your discipline your respect the honor and all that kind of stuff then then for sure go more that traditional belt system so it really depends what you um you know want to get out of it also your age you know if you're like 60 years old i, I don't think you should take brazilian capoeira for example you know i i would say that you should take jujitsu actually um because it is uh, in my opinion, the, one of the best thing for people who are especially getting older to kind of understand that like your body doesn't have to betray you whenever you're getting older. Nice. But, um... <laughs>